Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is AJ and welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. And for tonight's episode, guys and gals, we are going to be out here with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Uh, if you don't know where Flagler County is, it is over in Florida. I uh, hope you all do enjoy this episode. If you do, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure to give a major shout out to Slendis over in the comment section below for this beautiful looking Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Ford Police Interceptor Pack. It comes with an FPIU and FPIS. Um, major shout out to him. He did a great job on the interiors and the exteriors. Uh, I don't know who made the texture, but if he made it or someone else made it, props up to you as well. Amazing job. Aside from that, let's go ahead and get into this video and yeah, enjoy. Five one traffic. Ten four. Ten sixty one. We're gonna be on um, southbound Joshua Road. Gonna be out with a red and colored motorbike. Um, no available twenty eight. Occupy at one time. Uh, no additionals required. You can show me ten seventy five out for failure display plates. Ten four. All right. So right now we're gonna be on a traffic stop. Um, this person does not have any plates on the rear end of his motorbike, so we're going to see what's going on today. See why he's taking this thing out without any plates. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and park a little bit closer just in case. There we go, that's good. Alright, we're going to make an approach. Good morning, sir. My name is Deputy Diaz here at the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. You got your uh, driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance on here? Okay, can I see those, please? I need to see some ID. Can you confirm the name on your ID? Alright, thank you, Mr. Santana. Reason for the stop is because you're failing to display your plates. Uh, you don't have a rear plate on the vehicle. Are you aware of that? Okay, any reason for not having a rear plate? You didn't know? Yeah, you don't have a rear plate, man. You forgot to install it. Okay. Well, make sure that the next time you head out, try to get those plates installed. Alright, have you had anything to drink for in the past hours? Only one? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Uh, why don't you go ahead and sit tight for me? I'm just going to run your information really quick. I'll be back with you shortly, okay? Alright, sit tight. So again, this person is just failing to display their plates. Go ahead and run their information on the uh, MDT here. Um, his registration should include a plate number, so we should have a t or a plate, yeah, plate number, plate tag. There we go. Okay, so that's his registration up there. Go up and look up his ID. He has no gun permits. I didn't smell any alcohol. Just asked him if he did, because it's early in the morning, you know. Maybe he might have drove during the night or something, or rode the motorbike during the night. Um, but let's see here. He owns a Sanchez, 81 William Victor Sam 774. Um, has a valid driver's license, no 99s, has been stopped three times. He has uh, three citations on record, uh, one for littering on the highway and two for parking, blocking on a driveway. Okay, uh, everything looks good, um, but he's going to be receiving a citation for failing to display that license plate. Um, in Florida, because I'm basing some things off of New York and some things off of Florida, since this is lore friendly as well. Um, plus, each episode I do, I don't know if you noticed, but I do base it off of New York stuff. But I do know one thing about Florida is that you only need one license plate on your vehicle. And that must go to the rear of the vehicle. So he's going to be getting a citation for that, which I think is, yep, yeah, right there. Okay. Failure to display license plates. Alright, cool. Alright, so at this time we're currently being issued a citation for failing to display that rear plate. Um, please try to get your plates on immediately when possible. Um, you happen to have that plate at home, right? You do, okay. Um, we'll try to get that plate on when possible. Um, again, it is a law. You're required to have plates on the rear of the, re uh, rear of the vehicle. Uh, but however, you do have a notice to appear. Um, so you must appear at court at the Blaine County Court, courtroom 3C, on June 25th, 2018 at 1.40 p.m. Um, please try to be there on time. Um, if for some reason you can't make it, or if you have any questions, 
um, then you can dial the number on the back of the citation and we'd be happy to answer the questions for you. Um, but aside from that, uh, please try to appear on time. Um, if you don't appear, then the bench warrant will be placed out for your arrest, okay? All right, buddy, yeah, you have any questions for me at this time in regards to that citation or anything like that? You don't, okay. Well, again, try to get those plates on. Aside from that, you drive safely, okay? All right. All right, so he's been is is uh, issued that citation, goodness. It is actually midnight for me in real life, um, but morning in game. So <laughs> I do apologize if I'm kind of tripping on my words there. Five one, you can show that last 1061, 1024 clear, 10106, that'll be 10 and available. 104. Five one, ten four, you can show me 76 and route to that last call. I'll be responding code two. Okay, so we got reports of a officer in need of assistance um, over in the San Chiansky Mountain Range. Uh, it's marked on our GPS on where to go. Seems like it's on, actually on the highway. We're going to be running with uh, lights only, no sirens. So code 2. Surprise traffic is really light here on the highways, but it is 6.45 in the morning. So it's kind of like expected. But then again, people like to travel a lot, but who knows. Oh, is he parked? Yeah, okay. 501 County, be advised. You can show me 1023 on scene. Show me 75 out. Okay. 10-4. Go ahead and uh, limit the traffic speed here. Just so people can kind of slow down a little bit. It's kind of realistic. People would slow down if they're in the right, uh, right lane. Alright, we'll go ahead and approach see what's going on. Hey, how's it going, man? You call for assistance? You doing alright? Having a good morning so far? Oh, yeah, I'm having a good morning. But what's going on, man? Oh, you're speeding? Uh, figures. I see why you pulled them over on the highway. A lot of speeders, huh? All right, no problem. I got your back. Um, just let me know if you need anything. I'll kind of help you out. Just give me one second here. Oh, wait. I got to end this scenario, don't I? Okay. Yep, definitely. I got your back. I know that was the wrong time to do it, but just for my safety. And just in case if he needs to get to cover. Okay, he's good. That's good. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. I just want to close this door really quick. Hopefully it doesn't go driving off. Just like that. Hey man, you need any more assistance or anything like that? Anything else? No? Was he compliant? Uh, okay, gotcha. No problem. Uh, well, just let me know if you need any more assistance. Um, we'll be doing, you know, some... Um, I'll kind of be patrolling around this area as well. Uh, there are a lot of speedos here. There are a lot of speedos here. Oh, it just happened to be that person. Okay, no problem. Well, you have a safe morning, man. Yep. Take care. Alright. Cool. We should be good to go. Um, I have no idea why he's stuck like that. No problem, we'll try to actually get back here on the road. That person cannot maintain their lane. All units, assistance required in Sandy Shores. 
Five one ten four. I can take that last call. Uh, show me responding code one. Okay, so right now um, we just got a call from dispatch uh, from the count county dispatch in uh, reference to um, a subject traced. Uh, I guess who has a warrant for their arrest. Um, don't know what it's all about, but we're gonna go ahead and respond code one. Probably see if we can get a unit on scene whilst we. Um, as soon as we get there. Uh, subject seems to be at Lesbos Lane. That's what the uh, name of the street is called. So we're just responding right now. 5-1-B advised. You can show me 1023 arrival. I'll be on scene. Go ahead and uh, get another unit out here. Code 2. Backup needed on Lesbos Lane. Correction, Code 1. Units respond Code 2. Did not mean to say that. Two I'm monitoring. All assistance required. Hey, deputy, how's it going? Yeah, apparently, uh, resident here has a warrant for his arrest. I don't know what for. Just got it from the call from dispatch. I appreciate you helping out. Same with the sarge over there. Yeah, he's right over there. It seems. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it! Oh god, no! 5-1, taser deployed. Taser deployed. Drop it, dude, drop it. Oh, like drop it. Do drop it. Drop it. Drop it, man. On the ground. On the ground. Put your hands where I can see him. Put your hands where I can see him. Why are we trying to do that, my man? Attention What's going all on? units. We are code 4. Okay. I understand that, but... Dude, don't pull out a knife on me, man. What's the matter with you? Yes, you do have a warrant for out for your arrest. We'll talk about that as soon as, as soon as we, as soon as we can, man. Bob one be advised. We're gonna need to uh, roll medicals out here and supervisor. Uh, we're gonna ten nine. We have a one taser deployed. Uh, subject ten fifteen ten twelve. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in the back of my car, man. Um, real quick, uh, before medicals get here. I'm just gonna patch you down real quick. Should happen to find anything that can poke me, stick me, stab me, harm me. Any guns, knives, needles, hand grenades, anything like that. Alright, stand still for me, man. I found a knife on you, but I hope I don't find anything else, man. I know, man. Medicals are gonna get here. Don't worry about it. Alright, man, carrying another pocket knife, man. What's going on here? How come you're carrying so many knives on here? For protection, okay. Alright. Alright, why don't you go ahead and have a seat for me? I'm gonna go ahead and open the door for you. Alright, just give me one moment here. Alright, watch your head as you kind of get in. Alright, there you go. Alright, medical should be on the way. Just now, they're sort of responding. We've got medical aid requested in Sandy Shores. Respond code 3. Alright. And I found an ID on you over in your wallet. Is this your ID? Alright, medical should help you out. Yeah, he's right over here. He has a taser prong on him. I'm on it! He just got probed. We got you! Thank you. Okay, so they got the prongs out of his body, um, but we're going to go ahead and ask him real, just some questions really quick, um, see what's kind of going on, and then we'll go ahead and um, see what he's got. We found a ID on him, see if it's him. Alright, um, I don't want to ask him to get out. Hey! I'll put him back in the car. I wanted to I wanted to have the door open, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, put in vehicle. No way. Sorry about that. Just had to uh It's a stop the pet feature. I'm gonna have to change my key around a little bit so that way at least I can open the door. Alright man, so is this your ID? Okay, you wanna go ahead and confirm the name on it? 
Alright, thank you. Just give me one second. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run the information really quick. Stand by for me real quick. Well, I should go ahead and run in the MDT. Um, just go ahead and kind of confirm his ID. He pulled out a knife on me regardless if he has a warrant or not. Um, but this is the resident that we were told that he has a warrant for his arrest for. And he has a warrant for his arrest on shoplifting. And since he probably knows about that, he pulled out a knife on me. He has some previous arrests for Grand Theft Auto. So we got some model theft larceny in here, and we got gross manslaughter while under the influence. That is no good. That is no good. Okay, and he's just got citations, which is irrelevant right now. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fill out the arrest report. Um, again, he's been... He has a warrant out for shoplifting. Uh, let's see. No, that's not it. Uh, possession. Let's see. Is it here? No. Oh, shoplift. No, oh, no. Sorry about that. We don't click that. My bad. I forgot. This is a warrant we're talking about here. That was close. Thank God I reminded myself. I do apologize for almost messing up there. He has the warrant for his arrest. And I don't know if I can put uh, attempt. Uh, I don't want to put violent exactly. But he almost just, you know, attempted, um, attempted murder. Attempted assault. I don't know what I put for that. Okay, let's see. Okay, I... Mm, I want to charge him with whatever he just did there. Attempt to... Uh, attempt, attempted assault. Um, but it's not in the list of charges here. So what I want to do is I want to list it as this, but I want to put attempted assault with a deadly weapon. That's what it is. Otherwise, I'm actually going to put it here in the detailed report. I want to add... I don't type this out. The only reason I don't type this out, I know I play realistically, but I don't type this out because for some reason, my computer plus runs really slow, and when I type, I like to type fast. So, <laughs> sometimes when I type, it doesn't really keep up. Um, but, subject... See, like, right there, I wrote subject and I wrote, you know, CT. Uh, subject, tried... Okay, there we go. Sorry if my keyboard is really, really annoying. We'll go ahead and save and close. So he's got two uh, arrests for two charges today. And that is for having his warrant for that shoplifting. And then the attempted assault with a deadly weapon. Alright, so at this time, we're currently being placed under arrest for that warrant for arrest that you have for shoplifting. Um, and for also attempted assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, Yes, attempted assault with a deadly weapon. You almost tried to stab me with your knife, um, and you approached me aggressively. So, all right. Do you understand these charges have been arrested at this time, though? You do. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions for me in regards to your charges? You don't. Okay. If you don't, then uh, we're gonna go ahead and head down to the county jail. Um, if you have any questions along the way there, then I can answer them. Um, but aside from that, uh, we're just going to be heading down there, alright? Okay. Alright. Uh, calm down now. <laughs> Next time go ahead and put him in here. Alright, buddy. Just kind of turn around no for me, I'm going to go ahead and uncuff you, alright? Gonna go ahead and uncuff you. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Uncuff. Oh, there we go. Okay. Shit. All right, buddy. All right, you're good. Okay, so he's booked in and everything. I uh, should be good to go. Can I assist this part of the area? No, I can't. There's a canine there. Let me know if you want to see a canine patrol for the next one. I'm actually going to be doing another Flagler County episode. So let me know if you would like to see a canine version. Um, I don't think Flagler County has a canine. And neither any of the decals that uh, Slendis did has. Or I don't know if Slendis did them. But whoever did the uh, skins and everything. Or sorry, I, I meant skins, not decals. 
Um, whoever did the skins actually did an amazing job. I actually made a Flagler County car. It's a DUI enforcement car with um, a person called Alpha Wolf. I do have it in my game right now, but um, aside from that, I hope you all did enjoy this episode. Let me know once again if you want to see K9 or DUI enforcement um, with this pack. Uh, Sundance didn't include the DUI enforcement. It's actually a car that I made with someone else um, that I just happened to still have. <laughs> But um, yeah, great job to Sundus though, I am going to be using his FPIU still, so we just used the Taurus today, we'll use the FPIU in the next episode or another one. Um, once again, great job buddy, um, and aside from that, I hope you all did enjoy, if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and aside from that, I will see you all in the next video, peace out guys, and thanks for watching, take care.